that's just a calling to read GTK development blog, that Matthias posts regularly news and updates with the progress of GTK4. But in reality? That's just another lazy made video to test the other stuff. To make a quick and totally inaccurate recap, GTK4 comes with 4 major changes, and that's why it is called 4. It makes sense I believe. The first and most significant change is obviously the OpenGL and Vulkan rendering. So GTK4 will fully utilize our GPUs, which means hugely improved performance. On top of that, we'll also get shaders and animations APIs. In short GTK will become a modern toolkit. Yeah. The second major change is the simplifications of widgets with lots of deprecations, but most importantly we now have a proper constraints manager for layouts. That means it will be much easier to design our widgets, which was one of the most painful things in GTK3. That also means not backwards compatibility, but if you're about to start with GTK developing it comes as a super bonus. The third major change is the redesign of the event system, that I very very hope to solve the issues with callbacks in GTK RS. And I also very very hope to get Rust bindings and documentation on time, because there is no GTK developing without Rust. And say whatever you want about that! Sorry. Last but certainly not least, is the GTK scene graph that promises to make possible to easily create custom widgets. It is not very intuitive to be honest, and I must confess I really enjoy QML I recently started to write, and I'm gonna enjoy it more when compilers will fully support C++20 specifications. Okay, you can try some of these things from GTK4 demos package, that normally should be available in your distro repos, and here I'm having GTK3.98.5. Two things very quickly. On drop down demo we get this drop down with text filtering which is really really awesome. And I'm gonna say it, watch and learn KDE. Yahoo! Next I'm going to go on combo boxes, and that's not combo specific change but I want to show you this selection animation. It is not really great yet, but this is from the super tiny things GTK is missing to become beautiful. More emotion and more emotion, because GTK looks like dead with no movement at all. So that was all, and back to work. 